What's up, buddy? <laughs> there he is. I had to get you uh, on that grand approach. <laughs> did you, how did it look? I got a Incredible. little squirmy. Yo, the thing sounds incredible. Right? And, and I think the last time I saw it was like 2018. So uh, you've definitely made some big improvements on- Lots uh, changed. I think the last time I we hung out, this thing had shorty headers, yeah. uh, a tune, you know, some, some big tires and whatnot. Since then, stroker kit on there, um, new cam, uh, long tube headers, full MagnaFlow, uh, X mod cat back exhaust. So it's, it's basically soup to nuts. I mean, this thing is like decked out. Man. So what kind of happened was in 2019, I went daily on my channel. Last time me and my guy, RT Life hung out was uh, 2018. So 2019, I went daily. Of course, 2020, we all know what happened. Everything was shut down. So all meets were all canceled. So here we are 2021 and we finally meet again. But like I said, this car right here is off the charts. So basically it has a 392 intake manifold, Hellcat throttle body, and then we have a Diablo uh, cold air intake. It's a, they call it the jammer. But you know, pretty much all the, everything is, is the engine. You know, we got a new stroker kit in there, like I said before, new uh, Genetti Racing cam. Uh, it's meant for forced air. So this is a forced air build. I still have not yet uh, chosen if I'm going turbo, supercharger, you know, a, a traditional positive displacement blower. If I do, this manifold is, is out, but um, you know, there's still more horsepower getting added to this thing. So, you know, it's just, a, it, this year I'll, I'll get it going. So you started at what and what are you at now as far as horsepower? Uh, so, you know, the stock RT, you know, the, the first time I jumped on the, on the, the dyno, I, w I wasn't 100% stock. It was around 340 wheel horsepower. At this point, we are at 450 wheel horsepower and then similar in torque. Gotcha. So I went from a zero to 60 in stock, 5.1 seconds to now a 3.7. So that's it's a huge jump, low end. And then uh, the improvements quarter mile wise is about, you know, uh, this thing ran at 11.9 and stock, it's probably around 13.7 range. So that's a that's a big jump, you know? Big jump. And did you see a difference in gas mileage or is it about, about the Honestly, same? I drive this thing to a point where I don't really monitor the MPG because it's not a daily driver gotcha. or anything like that. So when I'm, when I'm driving this thing, it's what you just saw when I pulled up. It Pretty is, much. you know, burning tires and having fun, you know, so. It's hard to kind of compare. This used gotcha. to be a daily driver. Gotcha. That's what I remember. That's that's why I was asking. But now you just use it for fun. Gotcha. Yeah. The Daytona was the only car for the 2020 year with the first wide body on a charger to have 717. Now I'm in 2021. So hold, hold on, actually I have a question. Okay. So knowing that the red eye is out now, right. do you have any regrets going with the Daytona? Because this was the first, you know, out there and it's limited production. Right. So they, I'm sure you paid a pretty penny for it, but would you have rather held off and got that red eye as opposed to this thing? Great question. I did a video on that. Now. What I'll reply to that, how I'll respond to that is this. The red eye is 80 more horsepower stock than this 717. All right, so 797 to this 717, 80 more horsepower to the crank. This is a limited edition production car. So technically, the red eye is, you know, it, like I said, not to say it's a dime a dozen because it's an incredible car, but this is more unique when it comes to just having just that, 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 that you know, a limited edition production so line like car. the idea of having something that's a little bit more limited production as opposed to getting that extra 100 horsepower or 80 horsepower or so. Bingo. Okay. And because in, in, in my mind, all I got to do is just do a couple, like I said, little add-ons and I'm right there. You see what I'm saying? I'd yeah. rather have the car that's possibly appreciation over the years, not to say it will, but you know, chances are right now we're, already, we're, we're down to four, a 498 from what I remember. There's already been two that's total. So they already totaled two. So right now my stock just went up on the so car even more. Park, what, did, what, what would something like this actually cost? So when you want a, if, if it's not a marked up Daytona, 
Hellcat, which is a lot of a lot of dealerships are doing that. You're going to be looking at about 83. On the Daytonas, you don't have an option to do anything like take stuff away, add stuff. They give you the car fully loaded with the suede headline, the suede roof, the suede uh, visors, the carbon fiber inserts. You get pretty much, you know, of course, the Daytona seats, the traditional seats with the ripple effect. You have the, the blue stitching, the Daytona, of course, uh, a badging. And, of course, you have your placket, which, are, which, which is which your car is numbered. I got number 367 out of 501. So, so this you, is going to be basically a collectible. It's exactly what it is. Yeah. So I feel like since I was a Daytona guy, my, you know, my, my channel was, was started off the Daytona. I kind of want to keep it that Daytona. It was just a natural fit for you. Bingo. Yeah. All right. Like I said, I already knew the red eye was coming out. I did a video on that. And people were like, I like that you got rid of the blue. The blue, yeah. You know? I didn't. Was I that? mean, I, I'm a big fan of blue, but yeah. I think the black white combo, yeah, uh, works just a little bit better. And also too, it's it makes it look a little bit unique, you Me know, and meaner too. To me, the blue is a little too playful for me. So what I wanted to do was make it a little bit more meaner, and that's why I went well, it with works with your hood wrap, with the hood wrap, roof wrap. You know? I knew I wanted to just make the car a little bit more meaner, and I didn't want that white. So I knew if I was going to wrap the hood in the roof, I couldn't leave that back there blue. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I, I would have done did the same thing, you know, right. with the tinted wind the black white combo it's much nicer than all white with just the, the blue right so and I would even black out the rims Have that's exactly what that? I'm doing that's exactly what yeah. I'm doing that's the next video what I'm gonna do is a satin a powder coat satin black on the actual rims now here's the here's the, here's the question I wanted to go with a caliper that was red but someone told me to stick with the actual blue and I thought about that too before I even someone even told me if you look inside of the car right here the blue stitching if you look on the back of the seats the blue stitching is the b5 blue that was on the outside of the car so i'm thinking should i make the actual calipers to be the blue B5, yeah i think that would actually be a nice custom tie because you always see them red, red. or the track looks yellow yellow so i think blue would actually really yeah. uh, set this thing apart right from the, the rest so i'll tell you the, the wide body really uh it doesn't it doesn't come across as as on video, it doesn't do it justice, is what I'm saying. Right. I think Dodge really nailed it with this, you know? The stance of it, stance of so it. menacing. It, it, it's like, it's almost Even like... the new front bumper, new it's front. it's not just this with a wide body. It's right. It's like a whole, you know, it's like integrated, it, it feels wider, the vents are bigger. It's really cool. Right. In, in person, you can see how grand it is. That's what, that's what I was, I mean, like I said, that that three that Daytona 392 that I had was wide, just like your car is wide. Yeah. But it's like it's like when you see the wide body with the flares on it, it's almost like that's how it should have been from the start. It's almost like it makes it even more like you know. Yeah, it gives it like a more menacing or beefy. Pretty uh, much. Stance to it. Now is this wrapped too? The spoiler. Yep. What the spoiler was was also body color paint of, of B5 blue to match that decal. So. So is it still B5? It's blue? still B5 it's blue. Just if I exactly okay. if I pull that vinyl off, you'll still see the B5 blue. And what I had to do was. On the 2019s, you get a black decal on a Daytona. Okay. I had to order a 2019 decal to put on my 2020 because for 2020, there is no black decal. So that was a little brain power on my end. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So. Now, I don't think you could actually get a Daytona in a wide body anymore for 2021. Like, you can't order. Nope. That's it. And I know that you could only get the Hellcat in a wide body now. There's no. Pretty much. So you can get a scat pack in, in the narrow and the wide body, but the Hellcats in 2021 is just wide body. All wide bodies from, not, from this point on. So what I feel uh, what they're going to do is, is in 2023, they're going to announce 2023 is going to be the last year of this body style, I yeah. feel. So they're going to do, they already did it for 2020. 2021 Red Eye is already Dude, out. I, I think the future is all wide body. All wide bodies. Because uh, if you really look at it, mm -hmm. this year, the, the V6 is... You could get it in the SRT body style. The RTs are only sold now in SRT body style. Scat packs are now being offered with the wide body. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the history of Dodge, they always just trickle everything down to a point where I think that everything's going to eventually look like this right. in like four years. Pretty you know, much. everything is going to be wide body. But, you know, that's just the way it is. This thing looks, it's dynamite, you know? <laughs> and people that don't have the money to get a Hellcat and only want a 5.7 or a V6 are gonna want this, you know? Yeah. So, remember just... the pedal command and everything? <laughs> exactly. I swear, it was so <laughs> funny. Every every once in a while, I'll like, I'll look at the reaction videos of the pedal commander and you're like, that peppy little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I stuck with it rather than upgrading because I thought it was a fun platform to continuously build power with. Exactly. If I got a 392 or even a Hellcat, 
to be honest with you, I don't know if I would really want to continue modifying because it's a, so much more of an expensive vehicle. Right. And I don't know if I, I would want to kind of, I guess, you know, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to ruin it kind of a thing. You know, the RT is a great platform. You don't have to spend an arm and a leg for, to get into one. And modifying it is, you know, it's fun. It, it's really just the ultimate modding car, you know. So.